In today's video, we're going to talk about money. How important is money to you? I think that money is quite important to me. It enables me to buy the things I want to buy and to live how I would like to live. And do you think that money can buy happiness? I don't think it can actually buy happiness. Um, but I think it helps you to be happier in your life if you have money available to you. So do you think that richer people are happier than poorer people? No, not necessarily. I think that maybe poorer people know how much money they have and they live within their means, whereas uh, richer people may have more pressures on them because of investments and because of the lifestyle they lead and work pressures. Do you think that you would be happier if you had more money? No, I don't think so. I think I'm quite happy as I am. At the moment, I have everything that I need and I'm quite happy with that. Okay, and the next question is, what does money doesn't grow on trees mean? I think it means that there is a limit to how much money is available and that you have to work for your money. It just doesn't appear from nowhere. In what situation would you use this expression? I don't think I've ever used this expression myself, but I know that politicians have used it to say that there is a limit on how much they can spend and that money doesn't grow on trees or there isn't a money tree um, to explain to people that there isn't an endless supply of money. I think some parents say it to children as well. Yes, I think so too. But I think it's better to explain to children that you only have a certain amount of money. If you say money doesn't grow on trees, it doesn't really mean much to children. I think that parents use it to explain that you have to work for your money. Yes, but I think it, it, an explanation it would be clearer. I think that's why I've never used the expression. Although other parents do use it. What about the expression, do you think I'm made of money? What does that mean? I think that's quite a good expression. Um, if children are asking f for the latest shoes or the latest video game and the parent would say do you think I'm made of money it means that do you think I have got a lot of money um, and I think children understand that because it's in a joking way yes I think you said it to me once yes I think you can get away with saying it as a joke even though you really mean it. Yeah. And the next question is, have you ever raised money for charity? Yes, I've done that a few times. In recent years, we took part in a charity dog walk where local people gathered to walk their dogs by the sea and we all paid an amount and all the money raised went to dog and cat charities. Why do you think it's important to raise money for charity? I think that a lot of charities do very good work and often they don't get a lot of money from the governments and they rely on ordinary people to help them to raise money. And what about pocket money? Do you think that children should have pocket money? Yes, I think it's a very good idea. It teaches children the value of money so that if they have got some money 
and then they buy some sweets and then they have less money, they can see how much they've spent um, and it, it just teaches them the value of money. And they might realise that money doesn't grow on trees. True, very true. I think that often pocket money is linked to a reward system. For example, if they keep their room tidy or help around the house, uh, then they get more pocket money. And I think that's a good idea too. Now we're going to be talking about saving money. What are good ways to save money? I think that a monthly saving scheme is a good idea, whether it's £5 a month or £10 a month, whatever you can afford. It soon builds up over the year. Or alternatively, a piggy bank or money box where you put your loose change at the end of the week and that soon adds up and you find you have a lot of money at the end of the year. A lot of people can't save a lot of their money and so by saving a small amount it helps towards an event like Christmas or for birthday presents. I think that's the best way to save if you haven't got a lot of money. And what do you think is a waste of money? I think that buying a lot of clothes can be a waste of money. Many young people go to clothes shops every weekend and because it's fast fashion and cheap fashion, they're buying a lot of clothes when they have enough clothes at home. But that's part of being young. Do you think that people only waste money on shopping? Well, I think that some families buy takeaway meals every weekend, which is fine, but they could save money and make them food at home themselves. Yes, I think that a lot of people go to coffee shops as well. And if you buy a coffee out every day, then that's about £2 a day, which adds up. But I think that if people are working and this is part of their social life, then it's fine. But if somebody is struggling to save money, then maybe they should write down all these cups of coffee that they're buying or small items that they're buying and see how much they're spending in one week. This could easily be saved and put towards um, Christmas presents or birthday presents, I think. And the final question is, what are things that you do enjoy spending money on? I enjoy spending money on my hobbies for example, wool for knitting or materials for sewing. Um, I also like buying books. And if I saw a very nice blanket in a shop, I would be tempted to buy it. Yeah, so you have a list of things that you would like to spend money on, but you wouldn't really go out and have a coffee at a coffee shop? No. I look at that £2 or £2.50 and think that I could buy some craft materials with that money and so I wouldn't buy a coffee. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.